We back at it again then. Been a minute, hasn't it? This time, this time, doing a remix of the legendary On Remand. This tune from 1993, produced by the one and only DJ Pulse, aka Creative Wax, aka Crack House, aka Dance Conspiracy. There he is, signed the record for me. So I was approached by Justice, who said, Ash wants me to remix Controlling, to which I said, I would bloody love to do that. So, how do you start when you're doing a remix of such a big classic? Obviously, I wanted to use the old samplers so that I had my hardcore sound straight off the bat. This sampler here is the Roland S330 from 1988, and I use it a lot when I'm making hardcore and doing remixes like this, because it has an incredible sound. I put the stabs straight into the Roland, and I sampled them at 15 kilohertz. It goes into the desk here. I've got some very trashy effects, some reverbs and delays off it, and I've also got it grouped to a compressor which is run in parallel to get those punchy kind of stabs we had the sound in and it sounded like this <laughs> Next up, I wanted to use the Amiga for some hard-hitting 8-bit drums. So, I've got an Amen in here. It sounds proper rough. So, you got... That goes through the desk and is eq to give the Amiga a little bit of life. It also has those trashy effects as well. And it's run in parallel with a compressor, which is down here. So, if you see the lights coming on... Gives the Amiga a bit more life and it hits a little bit harder as well. Also with the Amen, I was using this effects pedal here. So I've got a transpose effect if I put this on. If you play it at a lower octave. The track has the vocal in it that says bad boy tune, which is absolutely wicked. And I wanted to find some other samples that said bad boy. So I was looking around and just didn't want to use obvious things. So I was looking on films <clears throat> and did a little bit of digging and came up with these. Bad boy. Then had a few more bad boy samples, had these here. For a sub in the track, I used the Akai S1100 classic sine wave. There was also a bass off the Amiga itself, which was added on the drop too. So I wanted to add some other drums to the tracks and use the stems that Ash sent over. And then I also used this program called Audio Master 4 on the Amiga to do some time stretching. This program's from 1990 and yet yeah, you can actually time stretch in it. Famously used by Aphrodite, has its own crazy sound and it's proper rago. So what you do is you keep the duration the same, but then you can put the pitch up and then you tell it to resample and that should sound quite crazy. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Let's see what it sounds like. So there it is, it's time stretched it. Just listen to how raw this is. Absolutely rago. I mean, it sounds completely different to something like the Akai. And what I used in the track was I used this sound here. Then I had two more vocal samples here. I wanted to find something else that was talking about control. So I had these. Gonna get out of control. Had a Hoover out of the Amiga. Wanted to add some 303 into the second drop for some extra roughness. Just can't beat a real 303, can you? It's this vocal and all. Anyway, as always, enough chatting. There was some extra sounds added from the Poly 61. I think there were some strings in there and then a few other bits off the Akai. It was started in Optimed 4 for like the basic concept and then it was stemmed out into Ableton. So I wanna say a massive big up to DJ Pulse. Here's the actual record here, it's out now. Um, and of course it has the legendary Tango remix on the other side, an absolute honor to share a record with one of my biggest heroes who made Old School and Jungle and yeah. Had the pleasure of meeting the guy, absolute hero. Rest in peace to Tango. Here we go, on remand, more Amiga Ableton bangers. Let's go. Hey, 
Bad boys. 